Hi guys, my name is Laurie. Welcome to The Icing Artist. So this week I'm really excited to be doing a villains collaboration. Now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a Corella de Vil inspired cake and my friend JK over at Quali Pops will be teaching you guys how to make an Ursula cake. So make sure to stay tuned right to the end. To start off, you're going to need 1.3 ounces of skin tone fondant and I'm just going to roll it kind of into this shape, push down on both sides and then pinch the one end together like this. Then just kind of pushing and pulling with my hands, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more long and using my veining tool, add some details and then stick a skewer in it. Now for her top, I've just created this shape and kind of cut a V into it and I'm gonna glue that on using some water. For her head, you're gonna need one ounce of skin tone fondant. And I'm just gonna to pinch together kind of like this to start off making a nose. Now to create the rest of her head, I'm just gonna to pinch together the one end, kind of making a big teardrop shape and then pinching out on both sides to create these really bony cheeks. You can use your veining tool to add a little bit more emphasis to her nose and then a balling tool to add some eye sockets. You can use your fingers to help kind of smooth it out so you have nice soft lines. And her head's gonna look something like this. Now for her lips, I'm just gonna roll out these skinny little pieces of red fondant. Put a small one on the bottom and a larger one on top and kind of curve it around to an evil smile. Using some water, I'm just gonna add two little pieces of white fondant. And then using my veining tool, I'm just gonna blend that in a little. And you're gonna wanna do the same thing with her eyelid, except with a light green fondant, because of course she has these bright green makeup. And I'm going to use some lime green color dust and just highlight that a little bit and some dark green color dust to kind of outline the top of her eyelid and to add a little bit more depth. Some black color dust for her lower eyeliner. And then for her eyeliner, I'm just gonna use a black edible marker as well as her eyebrows. Some dark green fondant for her eyes. Then using a green edible marker, add a little bit more depth to her eyes and finish off with some black in the center and a little speck of white. I'm gonna glue that onto her body using some water. And for her hair, of course, Corella has black and white hair. So for half fit on one side, I'm gonna do little pieces of white fondant with these kind of sharp tips. And I'm just gonna add a bunch of the pieces kind of sticking up here and there and all over the place. Make sure I add some bangs at the front. Now to all of my fondant here, I've actually added some Tylos powder to it, so that way when it dries, it'll dry nice and hard for me. I'm gonna add a little piece of skin tone fondant for her arm. And blend that in. Now I've rolled out some red fondant. I'm gonna flatten the one end, and then cut four little lines into it, and that's gonna be for her hand and make it look like she has these gloves. I'm gonna bend it up kind of like this so she can be holding her cigarette. And I'm just gonna add a piece of spaghetti right in there so you can't really see it, but it's gonna add some stability so that way her hand will stay up nice and straight. Stick that cigarette of hers right in between her fingers and we can paint that black later. Now I'm only making one of her arms right now because the other arm is gonna be kind of laying down onto the dress. So we can make that the time of. Now for the pretty flower, I've just made this little circle, cut out these little edges out of it and layered up together. Pretty simple and it's really pretty to do if you guys don't have any flower cutters at home. Mm -hmm. 
and you're gonna wanna let her dry for a couple days until she's nice and hard. Now for the cake, I've already made my vanilla cake batter and I'm just gonna add some chocolate chips. And this is so when you cut into that Cruella dress, it's actually gonna be all Dalmatian-y and spots on the inside. I thought that would be really fun. I'm gonna add that right into my dress mold and I've already greased my cake pan using some butter. Tapped out to get any of those bubbles out and bake that for about 45 minutes at 350. Ooh, look at the spots. <laughs> and for the filling on the inside, I thought I'd also add some chocolate chips to my buttercream. You can add your top right back onto there. And then just smooth that out. For all of my recipes, you guys can go to theicingartist.com. I have free printable versions there as well as lots of templates and lots of other stuff. I'm gonna smooth that out using a piece of paper towel. Now to start making her dress, I'm going to roll out some white fondant and then just kind of cut out this shape, adding some water. I'm going to lay that right on top of my dress and this is going to be for the front of her dress. We want to keep that nice and smooth so we can paint on little spots later. Add in my figurine. Now I've added her in closer to the front of her dress so that way the back of her dress kind of puffs up. I thought that would add a really nice detail to her. For those fur patches, I'm using this kind of shell tool here and I'm just gonna drag that along my fondant to create these little fur lines. I thought this would look like little hairs all over the place. And then to add even more texture, I'm gonna use my veining tool. And I'm just gonna kinda crisscross all different patterns all over it. I thought that would look like little patches of hair kind of all blending together. I've just cut out myself a template here, just so I can make the same patches the same size going around the dress. You can easily make the same shape at home. Again, adding a little water. I'm gonna start off at the back of my dress and then around the front patch of my dress. And then you can kind of fill in in between. If you guys aren't currently subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe because I do put out new videos every week. And so we use some scissors and cut upwards on a diagonal to create these little fur lines. Now the center is kind of puffed up with all that fondant. I'm just gonna remove that and smooth it out with my fingers and then add some of that texture back into it. As you see, my figurine is gonna sit in there quite nicely. Also, if you guys would like a chance to win this figurine, I will be doing a giveaway at the end of the video. So if you like details, uh, check out to the end of the video or my description box below. For her bow, I have two little rectangles. I'm gonna fold those together and pinch the one end and then wrap that in a little strip of red fondant. I'm just gonna add that to the sash that I made. And that's gonna keep the back of her dress looking as pretty as the front. I've already made her second arm. I'm just gonna stick that right in. Again, I used a little piece of spaghetti to hold it in. For her little purse, I've created these little shapes and you really just wanna layer them up together and add some fur texture. Glue that onto the side of her dress and then add a little handle. For the dots, I have some black food coloring and I've just added some vanilla extract and I'm gonna paint her cigarette. And then I'm gonna add 101 spots on the front of her dress. Well, at least how many I can fit on the front of her dress. <laughs> and you wanna add some big ones, some small ones, some medium ones, going all around the front of her dress. And that's it, your Corella Deville villain is all ready for her ball. <laughs>
If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to check out Qualipops' video. He has an amazing channel. He's a good friend of mine. You guys are definitely going to want to subscribe to him and check out his Ursula video because he did a fantastic job. If you guys would like to see his full video, you can click here. I absolutely love Corella, so I was really excited to be able to do this cake. I had so much fun making it. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching it. And if you'd like to see more of my videos and you're not currently subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to click that subscribe button because I do put out new videos every week and you never know what I'm going to put up. Also, if you guys would like a chance to win that Cruella figurine, I will be doing a Patreon-only giveaway on March 31st. I'll leave more of the details in my description box below so you guys can check that out. Or you can click that Patreon button underneath me to find out more about becoming my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys all later.